All right, second method we're gonna focus on is what's called synthetic division. Right, both setups, whereas long division and synthetic division have their benefits, it all kind of depends on what type of problem we have. Now we're gonna start off doing the exact same two problems we did before. Right, we did long division for these, we already know the answers, but now I wanna show you the different method. Right, so this new method focuses on just the integers. Right, we focus on the integers without the variables, without the exponents. So we're focused on the two, the eight, the negative three, and the negative 12. Now, what we want to figure out here is, if we have x plus 4 equals 0, x equals negative 4, and negative 4 goes in the floating box. So kind of like we took the opposite of this, put it there, and we put all the coefficients from the four-term polynomial and lined it up next to it. All right, so here's our flow. First thing, we bring down the first number. So we bring down the 2. Now negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. We add straight down to get 0. Negative 4 times 0 is 0. We add straight down to get negative 3. Negative 4 times negative 3 is positive 12. We add straight down to get nothing. The last number, if it's 0, it means that we divide it cleanly into it. If it's an actual number, that's our remainder. From here, we have to put our variables back in. So next to the remainder, or zero, I think about it as x to zero, x to the first, x squared, and so on. So here we have 2x squared minus three, which we got before. So this is called synthetic division. So if we look at our new other example, right? Not as straightforward because of the fact we have this 2x. Right, so what do we do in this situation? We're going to divide everything by the 2. So we really have x plus a half is being divided into 2x cubed minus 11 over 2x minus 2. Now, we always want an x with no coefficient. So as I just did, we divide by the coefficient to get x alone. Right, so what number is going in the box? Here, we put a negative a half. I have 2. I have a placeholder for x squared. I have negative 11 over 2, and I have negative 2. Same process as before. Bring down the first number. 2 times negative a half is negative 1, add straight down. Negative a half times negative 1 is positive 1 half. We add straight down, we get negative 10 over 2, which is negative 5. Negative a half times negative 5 5 over 2. Alright, so what do we have here really? Negative 4 over 2, it leaves us with 1 over 2. Right, there's our remainder. Now, an extra thing here in the fact box, the fact box is that in example 2, we must multiply the remainder by whatever we divided by to get our final answer. So since we originally divided by 2, we multiply this by 2 to get our remainder to actually be 1. We add our x's back in, 2x squared minus 1x minus 5 plus 1 over 2x plus 1. And again, if we look at the previous page, that is the exact same answer we got before. All right, so it doesn't matter which way you do it, it's going to work out fine. All right, so let's look at a few examples here just to practice this. Right, so for problem three, key thing, one's going in the floating box. Then we have x to the fourth, x to the third, x squared, x, negative one. We need three placeholders here. First number down, one times one is one, 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 nothing. Right, so that means it's divided cleanly in. We add our x's back in x to the third plus x squared plus x plus 1, that's our final answer here. So x to the fourth minus 1 divided by x minus 1, x to the third plus x squared plus x plus 1. All right, here's our situation. We have that 2 in front. So everything's getting divided by 2. 
x plus 3 over 2, 4x cubed plus 5x squared minus 13 over 2x minus 10. What number is going in the floating box? Negative 3 over 2, 4, 5, negative 13 over 2, negative 10. Bring down the 4. 4 times negative 3 over 2 is negative 6. Negative 3 over 2 times negative 1 is 3 over 2. We add down negative 10 over 2, which is negative 5. Negative 5 times negative 3 over 2 is 15 over 2. And we have here negative 20 over 2. So we're left with negative 5 over 2. All right, there's our remainder. But again, since we originally divided by 2, we multiply by 2 to get our remainder to be negative 5. So our final answer, after we add the x's back in, 4x squared minus x minus 5 minus 5 over 2x plus 3. And there we have it, people. Synthetic division.